She is the staff scientist in the Food and Agriculture Program at the National at the Natural Resources Defense Council (NRDC). And Keisha and Zowie. She's the advocacy director at the Alameda County Community Food Bank. Dana's and Keith Keisha, welcome to the show. Mm-hmm. 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 Okay, so Speak Real came about from a motivational seminar that I went to in Los Angeles. Um, Thanks a million bazillion to Kyle Cease because uh, he actually, like, okay, I was working with that 60-hour-a-week job. I absolutely despised it, hated it, couldn't stand it. And um, I was trapped into thinking that I was living paycheck to paycheck, and for that reason, I couldn't quit. And um, I went to that motivational seminar, and because of it, I realized... Not only can I quit, but I should quit. And then I did on the following Monday. He like I he brought me on stage and he asked me to speak for five minutes about what I want out of life, like what I'm passionate about, like what my ambitions are. And just for five minutes, and I delivered a completely impromptu speech to like a room of 300 people and people were like clapping and they're like, wow, that's so incredible. Like, I want to help you with this. I want to help you with that and with that. And it was like when I was on stage, I thought of that concept of, asking someone to speak about what they're passionate about in public, like on the sidewalk. And, you know, being a spoken word person, being a spoken word person, this spoken, spoken word person, but like being a, a spoken word artist, being a poet, like I wanted it to be done in that fashion with that energy that like, this is what I want out of life. And I want, the, yeah, you know, I wanted it to be powerful. But, you know, I did the first episode with Robert and Vivek and um, two people that I met at the event. And I, we started off with that, and it was cool, but it was kind of forced. And then, um, essentially, I, I forget if they said it or I said it, but I was, you know, one of us was like, you know, what do you really want to say? And that's when Robert, who I, who I put the video up of, he like just revealed like some really vulnerable things about himself. He's like, I, I just want to be seen as normal. Like, I want people to see me as normal. I don't want people to judge me. I want to be able to interact with people normally. And he has he has like a, um, I'm not sure if it's a cleft lip, or, but he has like a lisp, right? And so that's, that's a big insecurity of his. And then Vivek, whose episode I haven't put up, but essentially he revealed that he's a virgin, like on camera and, and he like broke down crying. And like, it was like one of the most emotional moments of my life. And it was like, okay, so what Speak Real is, is allowing people to speak, like giving people the space to speak on whatever it is that they want. And sometimes that can be kind of confusing for a person because I mean, more recently, I used to just interview friends of mine, but now it's like, I'm interviewing just people on the street. Like I went to the Tenderloin, I went to South of Market today and I was talking to a few people out there and just, you know, um, what I I initially said was like, you know, what do you really want to say? And the guy was kind of confused. He's like, well, just be happy and live good and this and that. But then when I asked him, you know, we tried again and I was basically like, okay, like what's your story and what do you want to say? And he's like, and then he was able to go a lot deeper and just talk about like, he's like, You know, I moved out here from the East Coast and, um, you know, my parents don't really understand my decision, but I really can't work a job that I don't like. So he's like, so he's like, so that's partially the reason why I'm homeless here. And it's, it's really, really hard, you know, but he's like, I know I'm going to get that job that I want. And I know I'm going to get that job that I'm passionate about. It'll happen with time. And he's like, I just try and be good to people and make sure my karma is straight. And, and, and so, so what I'm saying is like, um, I'm I'm just learning to do it better. I'm learning to do speak real better and to how to present it better to people because some people just know, just like go, like know what to say and just say it. And other people are like, what are you talking about? And like a lot of the times I don't know what I'm talking about. So it makes sense. You know, I don't know if I've effectively answered your question or not at all, but it's like, yeah, but yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. It's a vulnerable place. Mm, exactly. Exactly. Yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm, yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, I gotcha. It's like, <laughs> yeah. Yep. Mm. Yeah, no, that, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, thank you.